According to an independent source, Diablo Immortal made a hefty $24 million in its first couple of weeks. But thanks to your help through the use of a public YouTube survey and some simple statistics, we might have actually cracked Blizzard's real financial situation surrounding this game. And the results? are pretty surprising. Some people might have assumed that the future of this game was doomed after a Diablo social media post allegedly mocked Xi Jinping, essentially getting the game banned in that country. But the game might already be so much of a financial success that that doesn't even matter. In fact, this $24 million estimate from AppMagic might not have been the only assumption that was initially incorrect about Diablo Immortal. If you were planning on taking out a bank loan for 110,000 to save you some grind time in this game, well, you might want to apply for a bigger loan. Sources now estimate that Diablo Immortal may actually cost half a million dollars to max out your character. Apparently there's an awakening process once you upgrade your five star gems, and, th and then for each one, you can put like five more five star gems in there. Can't wait to see those 100% Diablo Immortal speedruns, guys. Let's, let's get on that. With all of the crafty ways players can sink money into this game, I wouldn't be surprised if it's already made far more than that $24 million in its first couple of weeks. And I think the numbers might back that up. Recently, I put out a survey on YouTube. I asked you how much money you actually spent on this game. We got 13,000 responses, which is actually a very critical mass of a sample size for this study. The reason this is such a critical mass of a sample size is because if you factor out the amount of people that said that they did not play the game, that leaves us with a sample size of a little over 5,800, giving us the ability to have a 95% confidence level with a margin of error of 1.3%. The survey was very strategic. First and foremost, it was very important to split the number of players that actually didn't play the game versus the amount of people who played and paid zero dollars. I hate to tell people that your vote didn't count, but if you took the survey and you didn't actually play the game, well, your vote doesn't count. Now, before we extrapolate too much information and make too many assumptions off from this survey, we do have to be clear about something. YouTube surveys round their results. You'll never see decimal points in the responses to these. Additionally, you can't see exactly how many people responded to each of the answers. Perhaps this is something that YouTube could fix in the future. This isn't so much of an issue, whereas we have 13,000 votes on the survey, we just have to make a few conservative adjustments when we extrapolate exact numbers from this. So the adjusted percentages of people who actually played the game and what range of money that they actually paid actually look like this. Already you can see something that's pretty surprising. Nearly 76% of people who downloaded and played Diablo Immortal didn't pay anything. Not the battle pass, not the 800% value if you paid 99 cents. 76% of people paid nothing to play Diablo Immortal. You would figure with numbers like that that the game probably wouldn't do so well, but it's in that additional 24% where they really rack in some big bucks. Also to be extremely conservative, we assume that everybody who said that they spent between one and $50 actually only spent $1. Anyone who said that they spent over $50, we're assuming that they only spent $50. And the people who spent over 500, we limited that to 500. So with all of these conservative estimates, we're gonna take the stated 10 million downloads and try to figure out how much money was actually made. On the lower part of this range, we're going to assume that we can't trust the round from YouTube and we're going to assume that it was less than half of a percent. For the higher part of the range, we're going to assume that we can trust the sample size of YouTube from this survey and we're going to calculate based on the given percentages of what YouTube says in the survey. That being the case and with 10 million downloads of Diablo Immortal, we can determine that Diablo Immortal in its first couple of weeks made anywhere between 50 and 100 million dollars. At first I found that a little hard to believe, but it passes the straight face test. Of the 24% of people that actually paid money to play the game, that gives us about 2 million people that paid on average a little over 50 bucks for Diablo Immortal. Not really that unreasonable when you think about it. 